government of everything. A new generation! A new generation! Yeah? So we're here for one reason, one reason only, and that's for our youth. For the betterment of our community. Yeah, yeah. Some people don't like that. Huh? Some people don't like that. That's the reason why that you'll see us standing here even stronger than before. Yeah? Everyone here who has come down, taken that step out of their yard to come and show where they stand and what they stand for, you're appreciated. Yeah? The youth in a few years' time will be appreciating the efforts that you're putting in now. Those energies that come around you, learn them, because they ain't gone away. They'll be back. But now we know better how to deal with those energies. Yeah? So what I want to say is, uh, Ras, be like everyone who's actually taking time to come out, especially the people that are coming from very far to show solidarity with the gang. We don't have no labels and we don't have no leaders. So when people want to put us in a label and pin us all in one group, you're very much mistaken. We're here for the community, our youth, because we're seeing what's happening out there and we're seeing how people like us are suffering. Suffering. And a lot of people ain't doing nothing until it happens to them. By then it's way too late for many people. So we're taking action now. And that's why we're forming this G circle here today. Fire Gaiden! A new generation! I can't hear you lot. Gaiden! A new generation! Come on! Yeah? Obviously, when you have negative energy come at you, yeah, man can do one of two things. You know what I'm saying? We can give in to negative energy, you understand? Or we can decipher the negative energy and transform that energy into positive energy. So I see a lot of the warriors out on the front line today. You know what I'm saying? And there's been a lot of great work, even though you haven't seen G circles. There's been a lot of great works done by my brother Maku, my brother May, Todd, Jeds, Beefy. Yeah? Even though you don't see it on the camera, man, I got into funerals. Man, I'm doing silent ride out to different blocks. You understand? So I've got to big up all of my brothers that have been a part of riding out to the different blocks. You understand? Because just because you don't see man talking about it on camera, it doesn't mean that it's not happening. But I feel like the energy in the park right now is good for us to get that G-Circle energy back, that brainstorming energy back, that collective energy back, and then we transform that and get back on the streets and the people see us, maybe G-Walks. You know how the gang does, wherever the energy flows. You know what I'm saying? But I've got to big up everyone that's come out today because that is powerful. When I look around, I see some of the realest people I know. You know like that? Some of the realest people that I know on the face of this planet when I look around this circle. You know what I'm saying? There might be about 30, 40 people here that I know, but it feels like a thousand because of the energy. You know what I'm saying? But um, me, I think at one point, if one of the riders could come out and tell the people them about, about some of the works, if Maku or Beefy or anyone wants to come out and tell the man them about some of the works, because I think that's something powerful and we can even talk about the future. Is there anyone in the circle that has anything that they want to add, anything on their heart, any energy? Gang, 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 gang. Guy Dan! A new generation! Guy Dan! A new generation! What am I two elders then? Trust me. Big up everyone for coming out. Clap for yourselves, at least a little bit. Get me. Well, I came here today, obviously. Um, it's a deep one. Uh, let me deal with more what's going on. I mean, yesterday, in my community, yeah, uh, a family was stabbed. Like uh, uh, a, young, a young child and two adults. Right, round the corner from where I live. Do you know what I'm saying? It's an area that doesn't really have that type of crime. Do you know what I'm saying? 
But this was just yesterday. Do you know what I'm saying? The whole road's taped up, blah, blah, blah. And these are the types of things I think about, yeah? When people are trying to do things against us at Speaker's Corner. Do you get what I'm saying? This is the reality. Man are out here, yeah? Worrying about these youths who are dying, who are being, who are, who are being killed and killing each other. You get what I'm saying? Can everyone hear me anyway? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. As long as my voice is clear. You get me? As long as my voice is clear. You get what I'm saying? So what I'm saying to you is, you get what I'm saying? Why are all this uh, type of, all of that? You get what I'm saying? Yeah? Me, Beefy, Nay, Todd, a few others, I won't forget their name, but Jedi especially, have been out in the community dealing with the aftermath. The aftermath of these events. It's all well and good us picking up the paper and saying, oh my God, look what happened. Looking at your Twitter, oh my God, look what happened. But no one cares what happens to the youth that were involved. No one cares about the family. No one cares about the police putting in Section 60s to so that innocent youth who, who want to protect themselves, who want to protect themselves and just go about their business, can't. Now they're classified all in the same thing. Do you know what I'm saying? You're a gang member, let me see your pocket. Blah, blah, blah. Illegal searches. Yeah? R.I.P. Dots. R.I.P. Dots. Yeah? Um, and it was a situation, it was a situation where the young man was not a gang member. He was 15 years old, he made music, you know, he was out with his friend, uh, um, uh, uh, English boy, do you get what I'm saying? So a black boy, English boy, they're out, they're going through a neighborhood, the gang run up on them, do you get what I'm saying? And he says to them, listen, I'm not affiliated to no gang. I'm not affiliated, I don't do gang. 15, I go about my business and I'm here with my friend, yeah? And for that reason and that reason alone, they stabbed him to death 10 times. 10 times. 10 times. This is something endemic in our culture, in our society, where they're poisoning us with the food, with everything we're doing. Do you know what I'm saying? We think these are good things that we're putting in our body, blah, blah, blah. Programs, programming. And we wonder why this is happening. Yeah? We wonder why this is happening. Do you know what I'm saying? But there's more going on than just kids stabbing each, each other. Do you know what I'm saying? There's more going on than that. And we have to open and recognize. Do you know what I'm saying? We have to start talking to each other. Your community contains all sorts of people. Am I lying? Every race. I'm a lion. Your community contains all sorts of people. So you all need to start talking to each other. There's a gap between the youth and the parents. Someone has to bridge the gap. Trust me. Someone has to bridge the gap. Please. I don't want no more kids to die. Do you? Does anyone want any more kids to die? No. So we have to make a stand. Just like in the park, we have to make a stand. What I want to talk about is especially um, we all have to take responsibility of what's happening now in our neighborhoods. You can't blame this person, that person, that person. We have to take our own responsibility for what's happening in our own neighborhoods. We should be the ones out there looking after these kids, yeah, being responsible for these kids on the roads. I'm not here to say that person, that person. I'm here to mobilize people who want to see a change in their neighborhood and be the change in the neighborhood. That's all I'm here to do. I uh, even not talking, no, 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 no. I will come and assist anyone, whatever neighborhood they're in, to have a plan in your neighborhood, to have a safe zone where kids know they can go and just be kids. Yeah? Where are the adults policing the area? Shouldn't be a kid living in a war zone, walking around, worried about life. He's going to survive by going to the shop for his mom. Where are the adults? Where are the elders them? How can kids, 13 years old, be walking around with big Rambo knives and no one saying nothing? What's going on? Are we scared of our youth or something? Yeah? What these kids are lost? They're living in a war zone. Yeah? That's the life they're living. And I'm not talking about no big kids, I'm talking about 12 to 16 year olds. 
No big kids, 12, 16 year olds. Can't leave the house, can't leave the neighborhood. Can't leave the, can't leave the state they live in. Where are the adults when all this is happening? So yeah, so we're doing an initiative called Talent Riders where we're going up neighborhood to neighborhood. Yeah, we're calling out people, all of us, to come out, rep your ends, yeah? Be the change in your ends. We'll come and assist you, yeah? If it's Ministry of Patrols, not patrolling, not being the police in your area, patrolling your ends and nothing bad happens to your kids. Simple thing like that. It just means coming out on your road and just standing by your, by your gate and just watching the kids playing outside. That makes a big, big change. Yeah? Just saying hi to your little kid walking past you makes a big, big change. So that's, that's how I'm here to say. So just look out for the call out when you come to your neighborhood. Just come out and show your support. But we come to help you in your own neighborhood. We can't be everywhere at one place. I'm from South London, he's from North London, I go from all over the place. We can't be everywhere at one same place. But what we can do, we set up a, a system where we're all ripping our own ends and supporting each other. So that's all I've got to say about that. Okay. Guided! New generation! Guided! New generation! Touch one! Touch one! Guided! New generation! Guided! Gang unite! Gang unite! Yeah, I thought you lot forgot it, but you lot still got it sharp. Everyone still got it sharp. G dot A dot N dot G. G dot A dot N dot G. G dot A dot N dot G. G dot A. Ah, you man. You're rusty on that one, though. You're rusty on that one. Let's go get that one back. Yeah. Um. All right, let me try one more. G dot A dot N dot G. G dot A dot N dot G. Come to set the people free. Come to set the people free. Stand up. Stand up. Rise up. Rise up. Guide in. Touch one. All right. Books. Books. Where's books? Yeah, so, um, so what, what, what we're planning to do is uh, hear from people, anyone who wants to express any feelings, any thoughts, um, any problems they may have, but more importantly, any solutions. Huh? Yeah, 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 I'm going to bring them in. So what we want to do is um, have that conversation, have that brainstorming, um, which we've had in the past in the park. Yeah, so I invite anybody who, who, who would like to share uh, anything with us, any news, any experiences, especially in regards when it comes to our community and our youth. So, uh, Mr. Okai, I was hoping that you'd uh, address the crowd there. Please introduce yourself. Thank you, my brother. Dean Okai, um, the main reason I came down today is because of my brother Jeddah and the fact that we support each other. So the one thing missing is protocols. We don't have security protocols. And we're here to protect each other and guide people. When we got numbers, you see, this is it. So the first thing I'm gonna say, form a circle, Fist to fist and let anybody go around and politely guide them to go around the circle. Because this is the protocols I'm talking about. So earlier, there were some young men who'd come from the other side. I was standing over there. I was not standing here. And they were intending to come through the circle and cause problems. I put my body in the way. There were six guys and I saw their intention. And they came from the other side. So when I put my body here, they diffused the whole thing. And one of the things that I say to gang, especially for all of the elders who are over 40, when you are presented with a threat, don't be giggling at the threat. When you convey respect, you command respect. We're not always conveying respect. So we don't command respect all the time. And we make everybody feel safe. Everybody feels safe. That if we're the biggest threat that we're supposed to be, not everybody should feel safe to be walking through here how they are. There are guys there with prison hench in their shoulders. But in 2019, while we're killing each other, everybody feels safe to walk through. What is that contradiction that's happening? It's based on us. It's based on the fact that we're not a threat to anybody other than ourselves. And that threat is coming from the fact that we don't have any protocols. 
We don't have one singular command that we can call to create a circle so that it's impenetrable. Because there's a stage where there may be a security threat and you're not being messed with by the state yet where you're going to have to close up because you don't know who everybody is. And everybody feels safe to infiltrate. And we're easy to infiltrate. So the first part is cone. Because you can't guide anything if we don't have a cone. That's not for Hyde Park. That's not for the camera. Those are your private meetings. So that you can call a command when you've got 40 men, fist to fist, shoulder to shoulder, that you can turn and face outward and recognize your threat and look your threat in the eye. These are protocols. Because when you've got people under your care, you're obligated to have protocols to protect first yourself and then them. Now, if you can be infiltrated and you're not safe within yourself, how the hell are you going to protect and guide anybody? So these are things for us to tighten up on. And when we recognize the threats, we're supposed to have tactics that deal with the threat so that it will never kick off because we don't lose control. So I saw Jedi's man flanking him and he had absolute clarity about his purpose. His purpose wasn't to communicate. His purpose wasn't to laugh. It was to flank his man, face any potential adversary and be their security. He didn't come down here to give a speech. He didn't come here to be on camera. He came here to flank his man. So everybody must have a role. Everybody must know that role. And the same way we'll be wardens on the reparations march, it's the same way that we have to be wardens here and take everything very seriously. Because if Brexit happens, we're going back to being darkies in the 70s blighty. They're going to become who they were in the 70s. And it's going to be a real problem for everybody. So we have to know who we are. And we have to have protocols that protect us. That's it. A new generation. A new generation. A new generation. Wow, my brother Raspe. Yeah. Um, we got everybody in the place. I'm going to start just calling out people, you know. I'm going to start calling out influential people. I think we can't go forward without having conflict resolution boss, Rap Raven, come to and just give the man them a reasoning and a wisdom um, on, off the back of, you know, uh, what um, Okai just touched on. Uh, you guys hear me, yeah? Yeah, yeah? This is a good level to, to speak, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Because if you can't hear me, you start drifting off, innit? So it's going to be nice and loud for you. All right. We're going to talk about two things, right? Discipline and purpose. And how they're interwoven, yeah? We're here for a purpose, right? What's that purpose? What's the purpose? Who knows? Okay, 10 points for this brother there, 10 points for them. For the youth, yeah? We're here to protect the youth, yeah? Things have gone wrong and they've gone somewhere else, right? And we're bringing them back. But in order to do that, what do we have to have? Discipline and purpose. There you go. There you go. Another 10 points. Nice. That's what I'm saying, right? That's what I'm saying. So we need to have that discipline, all right? So we're going to create some of the examples now, right? So for example, we're here to save the youth. We're trying to do that. There's distraction, okay? But we have to execute the discipline. Why? Because of the purpose. What's the purpose? Protecting the youth, yeah? And protecting them is more important than our own ego, yeah? It's more important. Can I see a show of hands of anyone who's been affected by knife crime or gun crime? Come on, come on. Yeah, you see this? It's not a good look. Yeah, we want to come here in a couple of years and see no hands. But how are we going to do that? Discipline, purpose. If you if you remember nothing today, we want discipline, purpose. Now, when we see kerfuffles going out there, you're going to hear a man say, discipline. Yeah? And you're going to remember here. And what are you going to see? You're going to see those people you put your hands for. The brother, the uncle, the son, who was affected by these, 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 these things. You get what I'm saying? The aunties. It's, it's never ending. And you're going to see them. All right? So anytime we lose focus, we remember about discipline. And what else? And purpose. Thank you, family. I've said way too much. Carry on. Guys, guys, guys. Guys, dad! A new generation. Guys, dad!
a new generation. Come on, come on. Come on. You say, Father Ras, you have something to say? G circle! G circle! So the reason why that we done this G-Circle today is because Little Princess came to a G-Circle when she was about two or three, yeah? Couldn't remember the G, like, I don't know how she remembered it, but she kept on saying, Dad, I want to go to a G-Circle. Dad, I want to go to a G-Circle when I'm FaceTiming her. Dad, I want to go to a G-Circle. And um, today I'm meant to be swimming with her. Like it was booked. I wasn't meant to be at Speaker's Corner today. But through the whole situation, I said, no, no, no. Let me make two things happen at once, yeah? Can you swim, bro? Come on, man's a, man's a dog. Respect. Come on, Brad. Yeah, Respect. man, man living yards enough for two years yeah, enough. Man. Yeah, man, man, man will tread for two hours. Are you mad? Rasmus. Yeah. But, <laughs> nah, nah, don't fish. Don't do them things there. Don't say them things there, don't. <laughs> but yeah, so what I'm saying is when man see man saying guiding a new generation, when man say that man have to look out for the little roots them, yeah? Man's talking about not only my own, because my own, you know how like a teacher's children sometimes get neglected? So the teacher goes to all the 30 children every day, but their own children might be the baddest youths. Let me give you a good example. Yes. Let me give you, a, let me give you an example. Gets. Man like Gets, his mum was a teacher, but because she gave so much um, time to the school, system yeah sometimes that neglects the youths at home in the same way my youths don't see man as much as i want them to but what they are going to know is that other youths on other blocks that might need their pups a little bit more right now that we've been giving our energy to and that's guiding a new generation so i just want my little princess guy this is her her fifth birthday more power ass. Yo, sorry, my brother. We're two sets. Yeah, yeah, man. You have to use them as well, yeah. Yo, we got press speed, press speed. We're bridging this, see. We now reason to that. We now no debate, cause we can't debate without the proof. But you see, next week, next week we are gonna come down here and we are gonna bring something and show every black man say we are special people. They can't go around it. One million percent that God loves black people more than anybody else. Yeah, and God, yeah, Daniel 10 verse 6, God yeah. luck. Revelation 1 verse 14 and 15, Jesus Christ black. So in two men, we can't slave them, a two black man. In the argument. But any hey, evil is like them. Obviously, you know the G circle is free from them. Religious belief and political belief. You understand? But big up, big up, big up everyone inside. But what I'm saying is, regardless, yeah? What I'm saying is, yeah, um, so today is, um, today is my little one's fifth birthday, yeah, fifth birthday, so I just want her to hit if, on three, yo Ezra, step nice, you can hear me in the back, on three, can everyone just say happy birthday, just so she remembers this moment in the G-Circle, where all her big brothers and uncles, and her, and her aunties and sisters said happy birthday, one, Two, three. Happy birthday! Tamara. Yeah? Guiding! A new generation! Guiding! A new generation! Yeah? Yeah. 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 yeah? So yeah, man. Um, so yeah, big up everybody for that, yeah? Um, the next person I wanna bring through is a giant in the see like you got individuals in the community um in the circle. But every individual, they're like giant entities. Rat Raven and Mount Melanin is an entity. Yeah, um, Brother Dean is an entity. Books Negus is an entity. Nay is an entity. You understand? And we have an entity here by the name of Black People Giving. Yeah, they're the ones who nominate. They're the ones who nominated um, gang for for, for for the um, um, uh, 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 the award earlier this year. Um, and they're putting on a big um, carnival and a festival, which I'm sure they can tell you a little bit about now. Oh, my brother. Come forward, tell us a little bit of the people that know where I'm from. Yeah, hungry, 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 hungry. Um, so yeah, firstly, larger love and respect to everyone here. Larger respect to gang um, and to all the brothers in the movement trying to, you know, forward motion and develop the African community, you know. And when I saw what happened in terms of with Jedi and with the brothers, I was, I was disgusted by the behaviour, I'll be honest. Um, 
obviously there was definitely some wrongs and some potential you know egos on each side and some potential fights but there's no way someone can punch you and not expect anything to be in return that's Trust number one me. number two Trust how are you running out here with how many hundred men running down one man that is disgusting behavior that's Trust not that's me. not that's not proper and that's not out of islam that's not proper behavior i've got family that are muslims you know and that behavior was just shocking that's why i had to come out here today because i thought what what is that what's that about if we're supposed to be brothers we're supposed to be unifying we're supposed to be doing movements we're supposed to be like empowering one another empowering our youth and people are running down one brother like that no, don't make no sense. But anyways, I'm not here to focus on the negativity. I'm here to focus on the positivity. I'm here to focus on the forward motion for our people, for the community. Um, so yeah, my organisation is BPG Black People Giving. My name is King David, um, and I'm just about the empowerment and development of the community. We do a lot of stuff with the young ones. You know, we've got like a cultural club teaching the young ones about their language, um, teaching them to tap into their inner root, because that's what's important, you know? It's a thing where we're out here, you know, in the Western world, as African kings and queens and we started behaving like jackals, started behaving like how others behaving. We've forgotten our culture, we've forgotten our roots and that's why a lot of our youths are out here doing the most. What's important is we need to return to our roots, return to our unity, come together and move forward. And this whole, what is it like, is it Muslim against a black guy or Muslim against a Christian or Muslim against what, what is that? Well, I don't even exactly that. So what is that? that? That thing that happened? What is that about? Do you know what I'm saying? That that's that's not on. Do you know what I'm saying? And you need to make that clear exactly what it's because you can't be talking about Islam. You can't be talking about I'm a Muslim. That's my that's my aim. I want to do that. That's not how it works. You know that don't make sense. But anyways, again, I don't want to focus on the negativity. It's about the forward motion. It's about the development uh, development of the people, and it's about guiding a new generation. Exactly that. And as the brother said a little bit earlier. It's about removing our egos to the side so that we can focus on the next generation. And that's it. Me, that's my piece. Right. Fist to fist, let's get a circle back. Come on, guys, fist to fist. Let's just shut down the thing. Guide them round the outside. Fist to fist. Fist to fist, please. All right, all right, all right. So, so, I know everyone knows about the conflict that happened last week. You understand? That's why a lot of the community came out to stand in solidarity. You understand? And my main thing was, you know what? Conflict resolution. You understand? Because what I realised is, because of the greatness of the works we are doing, we are going to have people that come down this part like Tan. We're going to have people that come down this part like that Tauhiju last week. We're going to have people that come down this part just to distract us from the mission of what we're on. You understand? And remember, we go from ends to ends talking to the youths about conflict resolution. Youths that have had deaths amongst them. Maku told you. Nay told you. Beefies told you. They attended funerals. And this ain't, this ain't new to the gang. You understand? And these youths have had deaths amongst them. But yet at the same time, we're trying to tell them, look, focus on your life. Focus on your progress. Focus on your family. Don't get caught up in the thing and have yourself losing your life as well. Yourself losing your freedom as well. So at the same time, through all this passer, my main thing was the conflict resolution. That might, be, that might mean people can talk it out or that might mean people have to stay away from each other. You understand? And we stay focused. Focused. We do not let them distract us. You understand? Because they just, they just want to see us um, what they try to do is draw a man out to be violent so a man can get banned. Look how long the gang's been here, yeah? And they call us all of these names, violent, aggressive, and not once in this park has gang ever hit anyone. You can't find that video, yeah? Furthermore, in this park, when other people have been in violence, I would say gang is probably the main group that has done conflict resolution with individuals in this park. If you watch the BBC Panorama documentary, yeah, in this part of the clip is a brother named Everlast and a brother named Fisherman. And they was both in a beef thing, two Somali Muslim brothers. And you will see us coming and stopping the brothers them from fighting. Yeah? And when they say this Muslim and gang thing, there's enough Muslims in the gang. Yeah? Enough Muslims in the gang. And if it ain't Muslims, we got Muslim brothers. Yes. We got Muslim sisters. Yes. We got Muslim aunties. Yes. We got Muslim uncles. Yes. The bum, the, the bum, my clock, these men are push. Huh? It's a
wrong thing, fam. It's the wrong people. You can't paint man with Sarah and other people that don't know any Muslims. You can't paint man with that. When I'm in my room, when I'm in my yard in the back room, you got Somalis, Nigerians, and Gambians. Hold on, them are Muslim. And if they've ever come down this park for anyone, I'm telling you, it ain't gonna be the man them. Yeah? The man are mad right now and they're Muslim. And I wanna bring forward my brother Scattered Minds, who is a Muslim. Now, earlier on, he was having a conversation. Mm -hmm. And he's reasoning mm -hmm. with, with a low IQ individual. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And he's told the individual, uh, and the individual asked him, are you Muslim? Mm -hmm. And then he asked him, are you gang? And he said, you can't be gang or Muslim. What the? Today, you know. Today? Today, you know. Brother, so you got yourself scattered minds. Respect. One of the most respect. balanced oh. brothers I know. I try. I try. And, one of, and for me personally, one of the best representatives of Islam, a real ambassador of his religion, by the way he carries himself. 100%. Big up yourself. Thank you, brother. Bless for that. Yeah, man. Bless. Big up everyone. Wagwan. Respect. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yeah, scattered minds, like my brother just said. I just wanted to come here and really just really compound on that. Because since the gang's been here and since they've been doing G circles, I've seen that this has been a, a, a struggle that's been happening quite often. And people have been going around and saying, black Muslims, black versus Muslim, you can't be black, you can't be Muslim, etc. And I just had my first experience of someone telling me if I'm black, I can't come to a, if I'm a Muslim, I can't come to a G circle. But I shouldn't come to a G circle. And if I'm a Muslim, I'm supposed to be praying with them. I want to say, say, I don't play this straight. I don't care what anyone at home thinks, yeah? The people at, last week at home who called my religion, tried to invoke my religion, my God, to try and rattle up people, to try and start violence and a war against somebody that did not deserve that violence or that war, them people are not my Ummah. I have no business being around them people. They are not my Ummah. They're somebody else's. And those are the same people are going to turn around and try to question me and tell me I have to recite a fatiha to prove that I'm Muslim. You, you're not a Muslim, Abdul Mahid Hamid. All them man there, they're not real anyway. Anyway, I don't want to get too deep into it. I want to stop being kind of attack theory. I want to go down the road that you go down. I don't want to do that. But this is what happens, isn't it? So I just want to say to my black brothers and to anyone who feels uncomfortable about being Muslim and you have to stand here in the circle, there's no way you're going to feel more comfortable being yourself being your original African authentic self and Muslim that's standing right here in the G circle. There's no way you're going to feel like that. You go over to, like my brother was saying, I'm not going to say no names, but I've heard multiple stories since last week of black Muslim brothers who are saying they go to masjid and mosque and they try to stand and pray and man them are pulling their feet around them or picking all their stuff up and going over there to pray because they want to stand next to a black Muslim to pray. That's the experiences that we're getting. When we bring it up, we get told to hush. We get told not to speak, not to hear it. The G circle always heard that. The G circle were always here for that. So, um, so no one's ever going to be able to tell me I can't come to a G circle ever that. And, and any Muslim brothers out there, I would say the same to you. Feel free to go wherever you want. Uh, we are told to go and seek knowledge wherever we can find it. We're told to improve our ummas. If you're a revert like me, your community is not just a Muslim community. You've got black people who are not Muslims, who are Christians, who deserve to be looked out for, who don't get an opportunity or a chance. So, so don't feel like you have to stay in one corner or one side, just going back the whole Palestine struggle and forget what happened in Sudan. Forget what's happening in, in Darfur. Yeah. Remember who you are and be comfortable who you are, and you can always come here to G Circle and be calm here. So that's what I want to say. Like this, a new generation. generation. Like this, a new generation. Like this, a new generation. Yeah. And in the, in, in the G Circle, you've got all mentalities. Yeah. You've got men that are all religions, men that have all different beliefs. Yeah. And everyone knows respect's thing. Respect's thing is. Let's talk about the differences, but let's talk respectfully. Yes. Yeah, that's my thing. Because as much as I see Mohammed Tawheed and I see them man and I hate their behavior. I hate their behavior more than anything else. Man, see my daughters. So when I'm hearing, and I don't want to go into this in the G circle, and I'm not going to go into it. But when I'm hearing that certain men are really dishonoring women and want to come out and talk to, to the man them about women, they can do that. The hypocrisy is too much, yeah? But just because of them Tawheed and them man there, I'm not gonna ever discard minds and the rest of the brothers, because the rest of the, the real brothers, yeah, they're just not talking up. Yeah, they ain't got time for the talking thing. They're on their dean, they're on Friday, Jumma, they ain't got time, because they don't want us to have to stick it on no one. Yeah? So don't let them, 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 them hypocrites, call out them hypocrites for what they are, and we're gonna burn them and run them. 
but I'll remain respectful to all of my brothers and sisters in this circle, no matter what your ideology, Trust. Yeah, you know what, no matter what your religion, no matter what your politics. Trust. I remain loving and respectful to every single person in this yes. circle. You know what I'm saying? So that's the, that, that's, that's the main foundation. Um, what anyone else have something that they want to drop to the people then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come true name and blaze up the fire. I stay, I stay in the, I stay in the training. Yeah. Right. Right, cool. uh, Waleed, Zubeda, you wanna say something? Address, address. Oh yeah. Zika's corner. Okay, okay. okay. Wala wala, gangi ala, big up, gangi ala, ishidai, ala rasbe, ala bife, ala makko, ala gang, es halina, es nagina, wala wala, gangi ala, gaiden, gaiden, new generation, es halina, es narab, wala eh, agine. ولا ولا اس حيالا وانا شاب مدلع نفسي بعمل كل اللي في نفسي وانا لابس كوتش بوما ما بخافش من الحكومة وانا لابس كوتش باتا انا بمشي تا 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 سبيكر كورنا اس حالينا على راس بيك على جانج وجي داي اس حالينا على زي على رجمة على زي كاس مستر اكس اس حالينا قول وطا هنا سي we all friend this, alhamdulillah, and our Islam didn't ask, didn't ask us to not talk to anyone non-Muslim or, or, or single like that. The thing between Jedi and, uh, and Ahmad Ali, it was fight, personal thing between both of them. Whatever happened, happened that day and it's finished. A lot of people use this thing to be a Muslim single when it's not. No one cast our Islam. No, it, it, it don't deserve what Muhammad Tawheed did claim. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allah. For what? He didn't cast our Islam. Where was Muhammad Tawheed and Abu Hamid when there are so many people here cussing the Prophet, cussing Allah, cussing Aisha, the mothers of, of, of all of the Muslim people. No one cared, no one talked about Aisha, no one talked about anything. But when they saw a Muslim, Ahmad Ali, they want to jump, they want to come back, come, come back like they, they defending the Islam. No one defended Islam here. I saw, I saw Rasbik in his channel more than more than you, Tawheed, he was defending Islam. I saw Jedi sometimes, he was defending Islam. So all what happened last time is not about Islam and the gang. It's about two people fighting. There is Muslim people in gang. There is black Muslim people. So oh, we all brother here, and I don't want any problem between Muslim and the gang. Big up gang, big up, up the Muslim community. Yeah, Salaamu Alaikum, um, peace and blessings to everybody in this circle. I mean, it's such a beautiful sight to see all you people united, especially at a time where there's been a lot of friction, there's been a lot of, you know, beefing going on, and for this to unite all you people, Allah, is such a beautiful sight. You know, as a Muslim, I've come here to, you know, um, show my respects to what you guys are doing, because when I first came to the park, I re recognised what Gang was doing, I was very inspired. You know, what you guys are doing is very, very inspiring, because as a Muslim, we also have Muslims that are involved within gang lifestyles. As black people, we have black people within our community. Black people are just as important as, uh, to our community as it is to yours. You know, so, you know, as a Muslim, I'm coming here to show unity. I'm coming here to extend my hand to everybody that's here. You know, don't judge all of us based on some ignorant people's actions. And we're here to kind of speak out against those people's actions. I'm a Muslim. And what happened on Sunday, we are free from that. That is not Islam. That is not the religion that I follow. Do not bring Allah's name when you're doing things like this. You know, so like I said, mashallah, it's just such a beautiful sight to see all of you people here, to see all these faces here under, you know, one love, one race, or, you know, one humanity, you know. Assalamu alaikum. Respect, We got man like we got man like Nay. We got man like Nay car. Yeah, we got man like Nay car. Um do be there with these. We got Nay for that state. Um, um what am I saying? Um what have you got something to say, cuz? Something sensible. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to say, like what Zubaydah said, I totally agree. Don't bring Islam into it, you know. Uh, don't bring Islam into it. Islam is the most peaceful religion in the world. And even the Holy Prophet Muhammad, there's a story when a Jewish man used to throw things at him every day. And then one day, 
the Jewish man got ill. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu went and visited him. The Jewish man saw his manners. He became Muslim from his manners. So he, as a Muslim, when someone vi violates you, yeah, you should have try even if he violated you, even, I'm saying, try and have more compassion. Say, you know, I'm a Muslim. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you my manners so, then, so that you might change and see my manners, you will become Muslim. Do you understand? Well, like a lot of people, like the, there's a hadith from the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, he saw people lifting up rocks and then they said, he said, what are they doing? He said, they're doing like who's stronger, who's stronger competition. He said, the strongest person is the one that if he's cussed or something, he, he keeps calm, he keeps his temper down. He doesn't react like that, do you understand? That's the strongest person. So even if we get cast or something, we need to try and keep calm, do you understand? And um, I totally agree, like Islam is the religion of peace. Isa, I want you to say one thing now, because you've been gone for a long time. Hold on. You've been gone for a long time. you got to say, welcome back. I just want to say welcome back. Honestly, just say thank you very much. Stop. Welcome back, Isa. He's been gone for like six months, man. God bless, man. This is Isa. I, you, you don't know what my opinion on here. I'm, I'm a bit extreme. Don't bring religion. 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 I don't see how I can talk about religion this yeah. when it's about the youth. Yeah, talk about yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. All I've got to say is for the youth. All right. For, tell them. <laughs> all right, for the youth. Um, basically, I'm not, bro, I'm not a speech man. I debate. That's, I'm sorry, look. For me, for the youth out there, I suggest while you're young, and your brain is fresh. Study and research as much as you can. Don't listen and obey anybody's religious or non-religious talk. Study and prove it to be true for yourself. Don't waste your life following hearsay over here and hearsay over there, wasting 10, 15 years of what some donkey told you was true. Study it for your damn self while your brain is damn fresh, God damn it. Don't waste your life and try and earn halal money, God damn it. Any haram money you got, Put that into a business. Brothers come together and make halal money, goddammit. And protect yourself. And don't let anybody, any monkeys, sorry, any people pressure you and start falling around the park trying to bully you, goddammit. Whenever we see that, we have to come together as a people and make sure all devils know their goddamn place with us. Make sure they know their place. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. A new generation, goddammit. A new generation. More powers, more strength. Yeah. Um, yeah, so big up everyone in the circle. You know what? I, I, I'm not um, trying to force the thing. So if no one else ain't got nothing riveting to say, I think we can leave this one here. I think it's been a powerful G circle. Um, everyone keep your ears and eyes open because there'll be. Obviously, more G circles to come now. Hopefully, it leads on to some G walks. Um, and you've got different departments. You've got the G riders riding out. You've got the G grinders. Yeah, you've got to watch out for. Yeah? So, there's some big things happening amongst the gang. And right now, that's why I said I don't want, that's why I said I don't want us to get distracted. Because this last six months, I've been silent, but I've been grinding and I've been putting things in place so that we can be more effective than before. So, I'm saying just when man's looking to ride out and start a move, Things while I kick off at the park. What? No, 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 no. Put that to bed. Stay on the mission. Stay on the code. Big up everyone inside. Guided! A new generation! Guided! A new generation! Touch one! Touch all! Touch one! Touch all! G dot A dot N dot G! G dot A dot N dot G! Come to set the people free! Come to set the people free! Stand up! Stand up! Rise up! Rise up! Can you not? Can you not? Cops on the arts! Cops on the arts! Can you not? Can you not? Cops on the arts! Cops on the arts! Guided! A new generation! Guided! A new generation! Alright, big up everyone that came. Give yourself a round of applause. Give yourself... Yeah? And we're gonna do a G cipher now. We're gonna do a G cipher now. So Getty! Getty, get ready, G cipher, G cipher vibes. If anyone like music and vibes, while you get ready. <laughs> yeah? Guys, it's gonna be a good one, yeah? Big up everybody. I'm charging up everybody. I'm an old man. Unless you need some random G cipher, that's what you're doing. Content over every time. From your feet, you're going to be a little bit. Come, man, say it straight. Man, don't listen to BBC. Man, don't listen to ITV. 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 So what does it take to buy a shop? Money? Yeah. Okay. 
So, are you familiar with the economic uh, condition of the black community in this country? I don't know, maybe you can explain it. Right. So, so, for example, yeah. Um, they are marginalised. Hang on a minute, so what's the... Hold on a second, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. 